गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल टूडे वी विल बी स्टडिंग कम्युनिकेशन सब सिस्टम इन अ सैटेलाइट विच इज आवर सेशन थर्टीन ऑफ सी ओ टू एंड द सब्जेक्ट नेम इज मॉडर्न सैटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम्स सो दीज आर आर ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड वॉट इज अ कम्युनिकेशन सब सिस्टम अ कम्युनिकेशन सब सिस्टम रिसीव एंड डी मॉडलेट्स अपलिंग सिग्नल्स मॉडुलेट्स एंड ट्रांसमिट्स डाउनलिंग सिग्नल्स सो बेसिकली द कम्युनिकेशन सब सिस्टम इज टेकिंग द सिग्नल एग्जीक्यूटिंग इट ऑल दो कम्स इन टू कम्युनिकेशन सब सिस्टम वी विल स्टडी कम्युनिकेशन सब सिस्टम विद रिस्पेक्ट टू सेटेलाइट ट्रांसपोंडर सो कम्युनिकेशन सब सिस्टम वी बेसिकली हैज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट इज ट्रांसपोंडर सो वी विल आवर एंटायर लेक्चर विल बी बेस्ड ऑन हाउ द ट्रांसफॉर्म ट्रांसपोंडर वर्क्स so what is a the uh, definition of a satellite transponder a satellite transponder is a critical component of a communication system that receives and amplifies and receives transmits back to the earth now it is very important role of a transponder what is happening here is that satellite transponder is installed in a satellite it is not in a earth station it is present in the satellite only when it receives a signal from the earth station it will amplify it okay and after amplification it will again retransmit back to the earth so satellite is acting as a relay so what is important here is that if you are transmitting a video signal for example a cricket match is going in india so that video is transmitted to the satellite and satellite position is so high that from that location satellite can again have a direct line of sight towards australia so the video signal that is received from the earth station and the earth station is transmitting the cricket match video to the satellite so satellite once it receive it it will amplify it and it will again retransmit back to the earth to australia so that people in australia can watch the cricket match taking place in in uh, india now it is very important that satellite can be at a very high distance as you know geo stationary satellite is about about 36000 km so there will be some delay that will be introduced so a person who is watching the match and wa the same person if he opens his television he will observe a sufficient delay a delay of 2 second or 3 second easily he can find out in what is he is seeing from his naked eye and what he is seeing in the video it is because of the delay caused due to transmission of the satellite distance is very high so it is been transmitted the signal is processed and then again is sent back to the earth so all this process will cause certain delay so that is the basic role of satellite so one of the most important role is signal amplification because when the signal is received we need to remove the noise okay and we need to amplify the weak signal received from the earth so this is essential for maintaining the signal strength over the long distance so what satellite transponder will do it will amplify the signal the third more important function that satellite transponder is do doing is it is converting the frequency now it is very important that the downlink frequency will be different from uplink frequency so what is a uplink frequency uh, uplink frequency is a signal that is being transmitted from the earth to the satellite downlink will be from the satellite to the earth so the frequency conversion the transponder uh, when it is receiving this frequency of a particular signal and it is retransmitting back to the earth it ensure that the frequency is changed and that is required to remove any interference proper possibilities now if the same frequency is received and same frequency is transmitted there is a possibility that signal may interfere because the frequency is same and this will destroy our signal that is the reason why we keep all the communication devices frequency different so the mobile phone we are using it is working at around 800 megahertz frequency okay satellite is working at around 5 gigahertz frequency so the frequency we are keeping for applications also are different the reason behind is if we keep the same frequency in the space the same frequency on and on the earth all these frequency are coming together So if the frequency is different there will not be any issue but if the frequency is same there will be a interference issue and because of the interference our data will be destroyed 
So in satellite transponder, major role is to take the signal from the one of the earth station, say India, amplifies it, convert that frequency to into another frequency and then again send back to the earth. So frequency conversion also is very important. Multiple channels, satellite typically have multiple transponders each operating on a separate uh, specific frequency or a channel. This allows simultaneous communication of multiple signals such as television channels or data streams. So basically what this point is suggesting is that if you are transmitting say videos uh, as I have given the example of a cricket match that is taking place in India. So one satellite will not only serve one cricket match, yes or no? It wants to transmit, it can, uh, when the satellite is launched, we want most, many type of work can be done. So it should take other data as also. In order to achieve that, it should take the mobile uh, the data also, it should take other, uh, say, ship, uh, ship sending distress signal also, all those data it should take. But all those signals should have a different frequency. As I said, each transformer will change the frequency also. So for every transformer will have a, okay, I will, uh, the, with this transformer will take this frequency and change it into another. Now if you want to take another frequency signal, you have to have different transformer, okay. So another transformer will take another signal of different frequency, change it into a different frequency and then again retransmit it, okay. So in order to do that process, it is important that multiple transformer has to be used so that it can serve multiple purpose. Secondly, each transformer will have a different receiving frequency and transmitting frequency. They will not keep the frequency same otherwise among those transformers also interference will take place and the data will be destroyed. So the transformers uplink is the frequency at which it receives signals from earth. So as I told you uplink is the link where signal comes from earth to satellite while the downlink is the frequency which it, it transmits back to the earth. So two-way communication is essential for various applications. So one we may say that uplink and downlink frequency should be different and that changing of the frequency is taken care by multiple, um, is taken care by transformers, transponders and if you want to do this changing of frequency for different channels, you need to uh, have a different transform, uh, transponders. So each satellite will have a multiple transponders. So this is the satellite transponder. So there are two types of uh, satellite transponder. One is single stage and another one is uh, double stage. So what is this single stage and double stage? So basically single stage means as I said transformer changes the frequency. So the changing of the frequency takes place in one stage. So we call it as a satellite transponder single stage. But as the frequency increases, it is observed that two stage if we use, then the frequency change is more uh, simple and more stable. So when the frequency we are dealing with higher frequency, more than 6 gigahertz or 4 gigahertz, then we will basically focus on double stage conversion process which will be shown in the coming slide. So here we see a 6 gigahertz uplink frequency is there. So it is taking the 6 gigahertz uplink frequency, it is giving to a bandpass filter. So this bandpass filter will ensure that only 6 gigahertz signal is entered. Always remember this antenna is having a particular bandwidth. So this antenna will take only 6 gigahertz frequency. It will catch only 6 gigahertz uplink uh, uh, frequency. That is the signal transmitted from earth. What is LNA? LNA is a low noise amplifier. So this amplifier will ensure that the signal is amplified and low noise basically means that the noise of this amplifier will be very less. We don't want noise to get amplified. So it is a traveling wave amplifier usually we use. So low noise amplifier is basically removing the noise. Now this is the mixer and this is the local oscillator. So local oscillator basically mixes a particular frequency with the 6 gigahertz frequency and then it converts it into a different frequency. So basically here we can see that earlier it was taken as 6 gigahertz but now it becomes 4 gigahertz. So now the, this output frequency of a mixer is, is converted from 6 to 4 gigahertz. 
Now again, this is a band pass filter. What does band pass filter do? It allows a particular band. So this time it is allowing a 4 gigahertz band only. So again, after band pass, in, during this process, some noise is introduced. So again, uh, uh, we will go give uh, some noise and some signal power loss will take place. So again, this is a low power amplifier. So this will amplify the signal. So this is a low power amplifier and this is a high power amplifier. So these are the two stages that we are using. One is low power and one is high power. So why two different amplifiers not one? Because if we use one, we find that noise filtering is not proper and more noise is introduced. So we keep the amplifier in two stages. The first amplifier is known as pre-amplifier, the another one is high power amplifier. So if we keep the amplification in two stages, it is observed that the noise remains in control, uh, remains controlled. So we use two different amplifiers at two different stages. But here we should not get confused with the single stage. Single stage here it basically means conversion is taking place only in single stage. So mixer is one means single stage. If two mixers are used means double stage. So we will see the double stage also. Then again it is passed to the band pass filter and then bass pass filter is being again transmitted. This is downlink antenna. So this signal is sent back to the earth station. So here as I said transponder do, has um, uh, majority of two functions. One is amplifying uh, another one is changing the frequency. So amplification can be done by low power amplifier, high power amplifier and the frequency change can be seen here by the local oscillator. So the local oscillator is generating 2 to 2 5 megahertz uh, frequency which is around 2.2 gigahertz this is given and this uh, mixer will mix it and it will convert it into 4 gigahertz so this is your single stage transponder key points the band pass filter after the mixer removes the unwanted frequency from down conversion so filter as the name suggests it removes the noise also the second amplifier amplifies the signal to give a gain of 60 dB. The input demultiplexer is used to separate the bandwidth of the individual transponder channels. Then the individual signals are amplified by the high power amplifier and passing through the attenuators to provide the desired level of amplitude. So certain, sometimes we don't want to increase the power beyond a particular limit because there is a receive power has fluctuations. So sometimes when very good signal is received, we don't want very high power. So what we do is sometimes high power will increase the power at a very high level. So we may need attenuator. So what does attenuator do? It attenuates the power, it reduces the power, power to a desired amount to provide a desired level of amplitude. So both amplifiers and attenuators are used, but attenuators will only work when power is generated, power received is very high in order to reduce the amplitude. If the power received is adequate, then attenuator will not attenuate. The last point is the each downlink channel signals are combined by the output multiplexer for transmitting to the earth station. So what is a multiplexer? As I said, there are multiple transponders. So all transponder frequency will be given to the multiplexer. Multiplexer converts many into one. So many signals that are received from the transponders are converted into one. Now there will not be any interference because each transformer will have a different frequency and then that multiplexer data is given back to the earth. So this is the single stage transponder. So the same working you can connect with the double stage because double stage is having only one difference is that there is a two oscillators. So this is your double stage transponder. Here you can see there is first uh, oscillator 13 gigahertz and then there is another oscillator. 10 gigahertz and you can clearly see now we are dealing with a higher frequency. So for a very high frequency, a single converter we usually avoid because local oscillators frequency generating 13 gigahertz frequency usually becomes unstable. So in order to improve the performance, we keep it to double stage trans satellite transponder. So here 14 gigahertz signal is received okay, and 14 gigahertz signal is received by the antenna and it is given to low noise amplifier. So low noise amplifier will amplify the signal, then it, give, it is given to 14 gigahertz band pass filter. So band pass filter will remove the noise only and uh, allows this 14 gigahertz band pass signal. Now this is a down converter. So basically down means signal is frequency is reduced. 
सो अगेन दिस इज अ मिक्सर एंड दिस इज अ ऑसिलेटर ऑसिलेटर विच जनरेट थर्टीन गीगा हर्ट्स द सिग्नल इज मिक्सड द फ्रीक्वेंसी इज डाउन कन्वर्टेड सो डाउन कन्वर्टेड इट इज अ वन गीगा हर्ट्स ओके सो आफ्टर कन्वर्जन फोर्टीन गीगा इज कन्वर्टेड टू वन गीगा हर्ट्स दिस वन गीगा हर्ट्स बैंड पास फिल्टर इज गिवन टू द बैंड पास फिल्टर द बैंड पास फिल्टर विल अगेन रिमूव द नॉइस एंड इट विल गिव टू इंटरमीडिएट फ्रीक्वेंसी एम्पलीफायर सो इंटरमीडिएट फ्रीक्वेंसी एम्पलीफायर इज वर्किंग ऑन वन गीगा हर्ट्स फ्रीक्वेंसी सो इट विल एम्पलीफाई इट एंड अगेन इट विल गिव टू टेन अनदर अप कन्वर्टर एंड दिस इज योर वॉट यू कॉल लोकल ऑसिलेटर दिस टाइम द लोकल ऑसिलेटर इज जनरेटिंग टेन गीगा हर्ट्स लोकल ऑसिलेटर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर अबाउट इंटरमीडिएट फ्रीक्वेंसी आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ यू हैव स्टडीड द एफ एम रिसीवर देर वी हैव स्टडीड मोर इन डिटेल अबाउट इंटरमीडिएट फ्रीक्वेंसी सो सुपर हेटोडाइन रिसीवर इज वॉट वी हैव स्टडीड वेर इंटरमीडिएट फ्रीक्वेंसी इज बीन एक्सप्लेन सो ऑलरेडी यू हैव स्टडीड इन द सेकेंड ईयर अबाउट एफ एम सुपर हेटोडाइन रिसीवर इन दैट इंटरमीडिएट फ्रीक्वेंसी इज बीन एक्सप्लेन इन डिटेल सो दिस अप कन्वर्टर विल कन्वर्ट दिस वन गीगर्स बैक टू हायर फ्रीक्वेंसी टू इलेवन गीगर्स हाई पास एम्पलीफायर ओके सो अगेन हियर द बैंड पास फिल्टर विल रिमूव द नॉइज एंड देन दिस इलेवन गीगर्स हाई पास एम्पलीफायर इज गिवन टू डाउनलिंग एंटेना सो दिस डाउनलिंग एंटेना मीन्स सैटेलाइट सिग्नल टू अर्थ स्टेशन अपलिंग मीन्स अर्थ स्टेशन टू एंटेना नाउ जस्ट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू about as i said double stage amplifier is more stable and if you want to understand what the stability means you just check this uh, function generator of your uh, lab you observe that when you are changing the function generator frequency if it is 5 kilo or 6 kilo or 7 kilo hertz it will give a fixed frequency in the lcd display if you are keeping it 5 kilo hertz it will be fixed at 5 kilo hertz But if you increase the function generator frequency, so say around uh, 200, 500 megahertz, then you will see that the display will have a fluctuation. It will not remain fixed. So oscillator often have a difficulty to generate a very high frequency. It becomes unstable. So to overcome this problem, we use double stage satellite transponder, in which for higher frequency we are using two stages, two local oscillators used. to down convert one frequency into another so here 14 gigahertz is converted to 11 gigahertz and it is transmitted back to the earth so this is one one uh, transponder such that as i said in satellite many transponders are used so multiple transponders are there so all multiple transponder signals is given to a multiplexer and then multiplexer will give that signal combine all the signal many into one and then give back to the earth station so this is your double stage satellite transponder thank you